All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. The ones to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, say, taste to all the occupants, where we're two sages with charity. We are the real Hebrew Israelites. We're coming out to prophesy to the uh, 12 tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as the speckled birds, the scattered Israelite corner, scattered amongst other nations, whose our appearance may seem to be other nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father line, father's line back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hey man, hey, this is the end of the world, man. Uh, hey, look at what's going on, man. Hey, look at what's going on in the earth. Look at what the, the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomite of the Bible, is trying to do. You know? I got this real quick. This first Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. So hey, hey, this is the end, man. Hey, the, the self-proclaimed white man is trying to put his uh, his devil juice inside of you, man. Hey, come September, if you don't have his, uh, you know, his serum inside of you, you're not going to be able to go into restaurants, you know, you're not going to be able to go to gyms, you're not going to be able to do anything, man, you know, you got New York City, you know, uh, that's a major state, you got them, uh, they're the first state to do it, man, you know, you got Walmart, uh, which is retail, which is big in a retail, it's a, it's a big retail uh, corporation, they're telling you that their executives and like everybody else uh, has to get the, has to get gym, uh, jabbed up as well. You know, so that's going to trickle down to other retail stores likewise, right? You got Disney, which is the entertainment industry. You got them requiring all their works to get jabbed up. So, hey, that's going to trickle down to uh, similar markets like that, man. Hey, hey, Revelation 12 and 12 says the devil is going to come down with great wrath. You only have a little time, man. And just within the last two weeks, you've seen all this new propaganda being pushed about this new strain. Hey, is it coincidental? No, man. Hey, this is the devil implementing his plan, man. You know? Yeah, so... This is uh, the book of Ephesians chapter 5. Uh, my point was in 16, but I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. And here it is. We're giving you uh, 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 some of that light by the, uh, 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 the ability that the Most High has given us by resting his Holy Spirit upon us, giving us a measure of a uh, 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 wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, to understand the things that's going on, and why we could say, yes, we at the last days of the last day. Matter of fact, the last seconds of the last seconds. All right. It says, uh, verse fourteen. It says, wherefore he said, awake, thou that sleepest, or and arise from the dead. All right, because right now our people, the scriptures talk about in that Proverbs. Um, he that wandereth out of the way of understanding. He that wandereth out of the way of understanding remain in the congregation of the dead. All right? And at one point, we all, all of us Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, have wandered out of the way of understanding. Our understanding, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? Which also... This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding contains prophecy, all right? The will of the Father, okay? And so now we have a, a understanding of the will of the Father because it was given unto us, right? And so now we're awakened from that uh, 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 dead uh, uh, state that we were in, all right? So it says, wherefore he said, awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light, all right? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and to know the signs of the times, to know what time it is, basically. It says, verse 14, wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, all right? Redeeming the time, because the days are evil, knowing what time it is, walking circumspectly, looking around, seeing what's going on, looking at it like the, uh, uh, the scripture said in the gospels, hey, you know that uh, summer is not, because you see the buds on the trees, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, 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 evening, you know what I'm saying? All these, the, the signs that the summer is coming in. Guess what? It says, hey, like as all things have the end, all right, and the beginning, and the end is manifest, all right? The end is made known by the prophecies 
happening. Because he said that right before the Lord come, that's when it's going to get most darkness, most evil. All kind of wickedness is going to be going on in the world, man. And lo and behold, here it is, man. All right, so we have to walk circumspectly. We have to understand these things, redeeming the time. And then, even if we didn't know, now we're hearing through the prophets, all right, that the Lord has risen up, all right? We need to go ahead and give heed, give credence, all right? And straighten up and fly right, all right? That's why the scripture throughout the gospels, he said, hey, repent, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man, all right? And the kingdom of heaven is gonna be established once our Lord and Savior comes, put a judgment by way of fire on this place. All right, and then set up the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, go ahead. This Jeremiah chapter three and verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And as the as the elder bro Yaku just going into, man, the Lord has raised enough prophets, man, which are gonna feed you with the truth, the true knowledge, the true wisdom, and, and the true understanding of what times you're in, man. You know, I got another one. This uh, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21, verse 20, it says, And though Yahweh give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall, it's like it says, Yet shall not thy teachers be removed any corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. And then you got the men of the Lord, man, starting with the elders now and the apostles of the great millstone, and their elders before them, coming out week in and week out, you no know, dedicated, man, telling you the same thing. Get right, the Lord is coming. Hey, the MTOB is on his way. Hey, get right. Put down the drugs, man. You destroy yourself. The Lord, hey, do not this abominable thing that the Lord hates. Right? Verse 21, it says, And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. So, hey, those same prophets and teachers are going to be telling you, Look, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't trust in Egypt. Trust in the Lord. Don't take the jab. Trust in the Lord. You know? That's what I think was led as a flock to the slaughter, man. You know, Elder Yashawama says it all the time, man. Our people are like sheep, man. You know, sheep are very, very dumb animals. You know? That's how. Yep. Yeah, they get themselves into a lot of shit, man. That's why the scripture says, uh, they that lead thee have caused thee to hurt. You know? Uh, yeah, I got this on um, Luke 12 and 37. Hey, well, I'm sorry. And who we should be following because ultimately, we're, we're all followers, right? See, but the elect, starting off with the governing body, are following to be leaders, ultimately. All right? We're, we're actually leaders. But first, we must follow. And who we must follow is that rank and file who's at the head of the pack is Yahweh All right? So we're following Yahweh into perfection. All right? Into being the leaders that we're ultimately going to be. All right, so you, you just gotta be careful on who it is that you're following. Are you following somebody into a ditch, or are you following one that ultimately is headed by Yahweh Shai into being purified and perfected and being the righteous leaders, rulers, judges, and gods that we're gonna be in the kingdom of heaven? Well, you know, brothers, they was talking about watching, being watchful, understanding what time it is. This is uh, Luke 12 and 37. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Right. And that watching, going. I, got, I, got, I can get those definitions right is. now. It is. This is uh, in the Strong's Concordance, G1127, for watching. And it says, to watch, to give strict attention to. What's the, the word again? Uh, oh, the Hebrew word? Yeah. Oh, oh it's the, the, the Greek. The Greek word is Gregorio, Gregorio, yeah, yep. Gregorio, yep. And um, it says, oh, oh, oh. it says to watch, to give strict attention to, to be cautious, active, to take heed lest through remission and indolence some destructive calamity suddenly overtake them. Keep going. That's the last one I think I lost okay. right here. Let's go down. Matter of fact, uh, let me. What 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 uh what scripture is that? Uh, Luke twelve and thirty seven. Right. Luke 12 and 37. Mm -hmm. um, right. Because ultimately that uh, right? Matter of fact. 
because uh, the, the, the root of that word comes from uh, G1453, Agariu, Agariu, which means to arouse from the sleep uh, of death. All right? To recall the dead to life. All right? Um, yeah, hey, being erected, being constructed. All right? And in this building, where, where it says the apostles and, and the prophets uh, uh, and Yahweh Shai himself being the uh, chief cornerstone. cornerstone, the foundation of the, the uh, apostles and prophets, man, all right, who is going to be active, you know what I'm saying, and part of the building, all right? You got something real quick? Yeah, this is uh, Psalms 13 and 3. Consider and hear me, O Yahweh, my power. Lighten my eyes. Lest I sleep the sleep of death. Woo! See, lighten my eyes with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, right. this light. All right, so I can be a part of this building. All right, that's what it's all about, man. Building the house of David and being a part of that. And so, when our Lord and Savior comes, He must find you watching, being active in the fight, being active in the process of building this third temple, which is a spiritual temple, man. Right. Ing. That's what that ing means. Mm -hmm. To be active in doing something. That's it. Not I will. I watched with the ed at the end of it. Right. Not I'm going to watch later. Ing with the ing. Yep. You, you actively in the, in the in the action of doing this. I'm man. doing. That's right. I'm Not doing. I did. Yeah. Right. I did that. Hey, and it says, yeah. "Blessed is uh, the servant whom his Lord shall find so doing." Man. And to back up the uh, the elder, what he just said, man. You know, in the scripture when this came out, light my eyes, man. Hey, because uh, there's two different lights, man. Right now, you got uh, Esau Edom with his uh, waxing. It has something in it called luciferase. And basically, once you take it, you know, you'll be able to, like, uh, sign a black light on it, and you can see a light. The people were showing you that on the internet, like, that that took the uh, the waxing, that there was a light. So that was Esau. That's Esau marking his sheep. But the Lord is marking his sheep through what? Through this word, which right. is that light. You know what I'm saying? So our eyes are being light. We are, uh, uh, Scripture says, when thou uh, uh, said, strengthen thy brethren. When thou art converted. Yeah, uh, we're being converted through this word. This is our, our eyes uh, light, man. You know? You know, having that, having that light, man. Uh, the Scripture says, uh, uh, what the Scripture says, uh, ye, uh, my, ye, ye are not in darkness. Yeah, yeah, you brethren are not in yeah, darkness. Yeah, you had that real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just start at the top of the verse again. Luke 12 and 37. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Woo! Hey, you see, because guess what? Those that is about this present evil world, those who got their mind on their money, on that bag, those who got their mind on longevity and something, you know, uh, five years from now. Oh, where you want to be in 10 years from now, 15, 20 years from now. All right. Now, nah, I'm on this thing on Yahweh Shai and him coming yesterday to set up the kingdom of heaven. Right. If we're talking about five, 10 years from now, I hope we've been in the kingdom and, you know, uh, okay, uh, uh, doing, you know, doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Forget this present evil world. Because if you about this present evil world, then you're not watching. You're not being circumspect. You're not going to be found watching. You're going to be found sleeping. All right? Because those that's about this world, though they sleep. They don't have no clue what's going on. They don't have no clue what's about to happen. That's why they willy-nilly thinking that, that, oh, yeah, things are opening back up. It's about to, they don't even understand about the, the on our way to this second shutdown and uh, uh, all kind of mayhem that's about to go on. They walk in obscurity. Yep, yep, they can't see, you know what I'm saying? Eyes wide open. Right, see, right, see, because they're being blinded by the things of this world. Uh, All right, yeah. And uh, one thing that I noticed as well in reading this is that it talks about a real leader, man. It says the Lord is going to come back and he's going to be the one that serves them. See, a lot of these niggas that y'all be following, man, them niggas not doing nothing but sitting behind a camera inside somewhere, man. They not on the ground level really supping with they men, man. That's not a real leader, man. That's right. somebody that's sending you to go fall in a ditch, but he not going to be in the ditch because he's sitting at the crib. Right. Although he ultimately going to go to that ditch because, hey, it says that uh, the uh, he that uh, he not many masters, 
because you're going to receive the higher condemnation. If you say that you're a teacher and someone should follow you and your teachings, and if you're teaching the wrong thing, then ultimately the Lord is going to put you in that ditch. All right? So you, we, we need the 100% truth to crawl back into the good graces of Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai and have faith in that truth, man. All right? And then showing our faith by producing the fruits of righteousness, man. All right? And doing what's right and having your mind right. All right? And not uh, 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 being obscured by the, the things of this world, man. All right? The, 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 the hope in, 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 in this world and it getting back, you know, uh, uh, to some type of so-called normality. Oh, shit. What's normal? Shit. Because ever since I've, I've been here for 41 years and this has been all hell. Right. You know what I'm saying? Each 41 years, you've been all kind of madness, darkness, bullshit, chaos, hate, envy, murder, rape, rob. All peculiar. Unhealthy, huh? Nothing, all peculiar. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Normal. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what you finish saying? This uh, Luke chapter, uh, this Luke 21 and verse 34 says, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. You see, cares of this life, partying and bullshit. All right. And, 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 and you know, you're going to work to ultimately have parties. You're going to work to ultimately have vacations. Ultimately to retire and sit back and let you live your best life and have fun, you know, scratch off your bucket list and all that. Nah, man, that's going to lead straight to that ditch, straight to death, straight to you being asleep. So when the Lord come, you're not found active. All right. You're not found watching. All right. Because you were lured to sleep by the uh, 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 things of this world, man. This life and trying to live your best life and have fun. It says, and so that day come upon you unaware. Ooh, and so that day come upon you unaware. All right. When you was all in your book, thought you, you were secure in how much money you had. You were secure in, you know, your lifestyle, your strength, your whatever. You were secure and it was all good. And then finally, the Lord come, boom. It's over with. Yeah. All right? And then the Lord don't care about your money, the money, the, the your strength, your whatever. He don't care about none of that, man. All right? It says that uh, uh, riches shall not profit. All right? In the day of the Lord, man. What's going to profit is you uh, 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 stacking spiritual chips. Yep. Having this faith and proving it. Yep. Verse, yeah, so I, this is more than this. Right. Verse 36. Watch it therefore and pray always. Like it. Verse 35. It says, for as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Yeah. See, when, when somebody or uh, uh, a bird goes into that, that fowl or that trap, they don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just doing this regular little... Oh, some food. Ah, okay. You know what I'm saying? When you think that you all good, you you right where you want it to be or almost and just having fun, living your best life, boom. Hey, that's why uh, that's why it says uh, how he make his men as fish, man. You know? Because basically you, you're getting corralled into it because that's a fishing tactic as well. To fucking funnel all the fish into a certain area and you can drop your net on it, man. All right? And that's what's happening to you right now. You getting, as you said, my people are led as a flock to the slaughter, man. I said, no, uh, uh, boys, uh, problems in the blood of the land of Egypt. Suffering in the blood of the land of Egypt, man. Verse 36, watch therefore and pray always that ye may be counted a worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Woo! To stand before the Son of Man, all right? And that his blood cover you and that you are presented to the Most High blameless, all right? See, but if you're about this world, I don't care how good of a person you are, all right? You, 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 you go to church uh, five times a week, you know, you do this, you do that, none of that matter. You have to have faith in the 100% truth. You have to have to have faith in the record that the Most High gave his son, man. All right? It ain't about what you done done, good or bad, or none of that, ultimately. It's about do you have faith in the will of the Father? 
Do you have faith in Yahweh Shah in truth? Hey, because uh because he's the door. He's the porter, man. He's the one standing at the door. You gotta have the right uh you gotta have the right uh attire on and you gotta have that code word, man. That's it. In order to get in, man. Yep. Not everybody getting in that door, man. You gotta have the right breakdown. Yep, hey, and that attire is those wedding garments. Yeah. Those wedding garments it, it, is uh, uh this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right. And, and, and practicing in her. All right, you got some more? Hey, can I add this as well? Yeah. Because uh, it's just like when you programming a remote or something like that, or let's say you got a code to break into your phone, to go into your phone. You got to have all the numbers right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You get one thing off, it ain't happening for you. You can't open up that lock. Yep. Right. It ain't happening right. for you. Uh, uh, you said John the Baptist uh, uh, fell out the truth. You saying you shouldn't worship your house shy? Yeah, that's a wrong code. Right yeah, there. Oh, and and wrong. Yep. You know, y'all yep. fucking sitting the Sandman out on your ass, man. What? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He just beat your ass this time, right? I get to beat the hell out you with that stick, man. You know? Hey, but but that, that's what it is, man. Because it says that if uh, he who don't have that wedding garden on. You get cast out of darkness, man. Yep. You gonna get your ass kicked out the wedge, man, and, and beat up, man. Right. <laughs> the hell you doing? Uh, let, let me get this in here. You go ahead. Get us. Uh, second Ezra uh, five and one. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the it's like second Ezra five and one. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, they shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. And the weight of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above that which is now, but see it for that thou hast heard all the note. You see? Because that's what that's what was planted. The, the grain of evil seed. Alright? And it continues to grow and wax worse and worse and worse. Alright? Because right before our Lord Savior comes. Who was in power? The wicked, all right? And the wicked has an agenda as well, all right? And his agenda, of course, is to do wickedly, all right? But of course, he's gonna spread over it, you know, something that it seems smooth and good and nice and get back to normal, all right? To fool the, the, the sheeple, all right? And that's exactly what's going on. But guess what? He's not. They're not gonna uh, 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 fool for long. The elect, man. All right, because the elect is gonna return to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, forsake this present evil world because it is just that evil. All right, it's evil. Ain't no two ways about it, man. All right, and so we have to forsake this present evil world, man. All right. And return, and, and, and that's why he says, hey, what manner of persons are ye to be, knowing that the Lord is coming back with fire? All right, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? All right, what was given to us, exclusively to the Israelites, was the way of life. And so right now we have to rehearse that. All right, even though we in bodies of death, we in this present evil world where uh, 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 and, and namely here in America where King David was like, hey man, though I walk through the shadow of death, all right, I'll fear no evil because guess what? I have faith in the uh, in Yahweh Shai. I have faith in the will of the Father. That's right. All right? And I know that he's going to take care of us no matter what happens, no matter what befalls us individually. All right? Are you going to be found in bed? Are you going to be found in bed with the enemy? Right. Are you going to be found kicking and screaming? And call up with your husband. Man. That's it. That's it. Because that was the thing about even uh, what's that uh, book? Uh, Judith. Judith. All right. Well, she cried out. All right. She wasn't with the fucker. All right. She was crying out. All right. She, uh, so the same thing right now. We're in in captivity, and they, they trying to rape us in every single way. Are we with it? Or are we gonna cry out? Because if you with it, just like the the law tells you that, oh, okay, then the the the, the, the adulterer that's doing the raping, and then the adulterer that is down with the rape. 
All right? Or they ain't even raped no more at this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, adultery. it's consensual uh, 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 adultery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And so here it is. This is what it, what it is. When our Lord and Savior come, all right, for those who are so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and even the confusion of face or the, the, the speckled bird uh, who happened to look like another nation, but your bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hey, if you found living your best life, if you found loving this place and wanting the, this place to continue on and you, you know, just living and having fun or whatever, all right, then guess what? You was consensual, man. All right? Because those who the Lord is coming to save, whose uh, 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 his blood is going to cover, all right, they're going to be crying out. They're going to be crying, rape, rape, help me, help me. All right, you can guess up. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. You see, that's settled on your leaves. Just kick back, having fun, enjoying yourself. Try, uh, whether you live in your best life or even attempting to live your best life here in the present evil world, man. <laughs> All right, you are settled on your leaves. You good. You fine with that. This this the, this present evil world, it suits you. It suffices. Yeah, you was cool with it. You got your, uh, Not too bad. You got your consolation. Hey, and on your leaves, leaves is the bottom of the, uh, the uh, uh, it's the dregs. It's the bottom of the shit. It's the, it, it, it's you and you wallowing in your filth. Right. Having fun. Yeah. Loving it. Excuse me, talk about that sow that was washed, you turned into the mire, man. Hey, hey, here it is. Well, we try to pour the water on you, man. You go right back in the mud, man. You know? You settled on your leave. You settled in the dirt. You at the bottom of society, man. And you and you happy there. Yeah. Yep. Want to continue on there. All right. Go ahead. It says that say in their heart, Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. You see? Ah, right, man, they've been saying the Lord coming back for hundreds of years. <laughs> They've been saying that for the longest. Y'all still believe it? Uh, that, that man wrote that book. Hey, the Lord said, I'm going to cause that proverb to cease, man. He said, the effect of every vision is going to come upon you, man. That's right. And it's happening now, man. See, but you got to have that eye salve to see. All right, to have that prudence, man. All right, you got to have that inner, the, uh, uh, the, the mind's eye that can see it, man. That's right. See, but guess what? can't do that, you know, unless the Lord give it to you. You know what I'm saying? That's why, hey, he say, hey, make your call and election sure. All right? If you call to be the elect, then you better be doing, put on therefore as the elect. All right? Because two-thirds of our people that's appointed to, to the wrath of the Lord, all right, they give in diligence, you know, in wickedness. They give in diligence in loving this present evil world. Hey, I was thinking about that movie Bird Box, man. Dude put old girl eyes to the window and shit. See? Open up her fucking right, right, right. eyelids. Right. And yeah, we can't do that for you, man. Right. And the Lord, it's, it's, it says in the book of Job, it says he shut it that no man opened it, man. Yep. All right, man. Yeah, he said he shut it the man and there can be no opening, man. Uh, 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 the port, to him the porter open, openeth. Yep. All right. Only the Lord can open your mind to this, man. Hey, and that's why, hey, we sit just back and do our part, do our job. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of times you don't even get mad at cats sometimes, man. You know, I mean, in certain cases and in instances, we do because we have a passion and love for the word, all right, for this truth. And we're defenders of the gospel, all right? But at the end of the day, you know that, hey, it, it, it says, uh, uh, it must be that offenses come, all right? But woe unto that man by the who the offense come by, you know? All right, we know that, hey, there is a two-thirds, all right? We know that there are false prophets, all right? This is all a part of the, the word. It's all a part of the will. So here it is. We just do our job and we teach, man. All right, we do our job, and if we gonna be, if we gonna teach, then we gotta live that. All right, to the best of our ability, man, and continue to grow in the spirit, man. All right, uh, uh, let's go. What we got? Yeah, man, that's 
Oh, wait, who, who, what did you feel also? Okay. okay. All right. It's uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. It reads, it says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You see, when you sleep, you don't know that a thief is coming to rob the place. All right? Because you sleep. All right, and here he is with his mask coming to creep up. You know what I'm saying? Real quiet, Very like quiet. Very quiet. It's wabbing. Yeah. <laughs> so no, you know, you don't know that. Right. All right. And so uh, uh, that's how the Lord is coming. We don't. You can You don't know the date. All right. Go ahead. Verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. You see, a woman don't know when she about to go ahead and her water gonna break and up. Oh, it's that time I need to go to the no. She was just out doing some shopping. You know what I'm saying? Out just the minute that day, another day. Scoop up. Oh shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how the Lord comes. You're unaware. It's, you don't know. Alright? The exact date. But go ahead. It says verse 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness. That well, Whoa, see, but it says, but ye brethren, all right, there's, there's those are particular brethren, all right? <clears throat> this is the elect, starting off with the governing body, the 144, right. all right? But ye brethren are what? Are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. See, the Bible ain't a lie, all right? It says that there are some whose that day is not going to overtake them as a thief. Why? Because they watch it. They looking out the window. They not sleep. All right. They're not about this present evil world, and their uh, 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 sight is obscured by you know the the dainties of this world, the right. riches of this world. All right. The the, the you, you getting some type of honor here in this present evil world. We we ain't about that. All right. So we we well, our mind and our our sight is not obscured by that. We see very clearly that the day of the Lord has come. It says that, hey, you are not uh, 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 in darkness, all right? Ye, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief, right. that the day of the Lord should overtake you as a thief. It's not going to happen to you because you're watching the signs of the times, all right? You're redeeming the time. You're walking circumspect. All right, we, we know that so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. All right, we know that, hey, there is a standard, all right? And there is a way that we must conform to and not be conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of our mind. That's right. We know that we have to wait on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for our rest, all right? For us to live our best life, we have to wait. We understand that we have to give, uh, uh, make our bodies a living sacrifice and follow in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior. All right, we understand that coming in in this uh, in this truth, we make ourselves a prey to those that 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 rules this world. All right, the wicked. We understand that we have to go through all these things and be persecuted and be called a hate group and be called a cult and be called all the, the, the bad things, all right? Because the people don't understand this, all right? We see and we know these things, all right? But we still go through it, what we gotta go through, man. And all the while, growing in the spirit, learning ourselves. And then teaching what we know as the ability that was given to us. We know these things. All right? Because guess what? We don't care about this present evil world and the things that they got to offer. All right? It says when you come into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you're going to be quickly without care. So those things that obscure other people, you don't even care about. It ain't, it ain't nothing to you. All right? Because we understand what we got stored up waiting for us. All right, he said he's going to go to prepare a place for us, man, and that we're going to reign on the earth, all right, forever in righteousness. We understand that, and so we wait on that, all right, and we are patient. We don't care about none of this stuff, so this ain't obscuring our sight. 
and our understanding that the the the, uh, the Lord is is right up the street. We understand these things, man. Now, of course, no one knows the exact date. Not even Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior Himself, know when He coming. All right, because that power is in the hand of Yahweh alone. Right. To know that, go. You know what I'm saying? But at least we know around the time we could say our lifetime and that's what we saying that's right our lifetime because of the signs that was left us to understand this all right what you got brother this is Sirach 20 and 29 presence and gifts blind the eyes of the wise Woo! and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove you see and this is what this world is offering you presence and gifts all right, that's why the scriptures talk about uh, for a gift destroyeth the heart. All right, a gift destroyeth the heart. The Hebrew word for heart is lob, which means your mind. So a gift destroyeth your mind. All right, and you don't even know what's going on. All right, because you're looking at the gift. All right, nah, man, they gave you that gift to, to close your eyes, man. To blind you to what I'm really on. All right, here it is. Motherfucker got the knife behind it. Back. He's like, here you go. And you like, ah, thank you, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you was blind. You couldn't hey. see that. And they don't even gotta stick you, man. You niggas like pretty Tony, man. You gonna stick yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah hell yeah. Do it on your, and that's how they do it, man. They like that shit. They gonna kill their own goddamn stuff. Stick yourself Fuck around, again, start shipping man. it to you. Yeah. We'll ship you. We'll ship that motherfucking <laughs> vaccine to your ass. <laughs> Just make sure you take it on camera. Right. And yeah. that's what they were doing at the at the, at the Mo job. They made you stand in front of a camera and put that thing up your nose. They ain't make me do that shit though. Yeah, Lord protect me from that. Yeah. A woman, uh, I think that was at Ford City. They doing uh, some, uh, got to set up new stations for, for for the dab and shit. And, uh, and of course, bigger woman supreme. You know what I'm saying? Then we from be the first one, first black woman at Ford City. Yeah, right. To get stuff. She did it. She was like, ah. <laughs> She jumped and we're like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Just, oh, I'm so I mean, happy. Happy to take that shit, man. These motherfuckers to set up a little Vax clinic over there next to the Popeyes on Chicago and Kenzie for you niggas out west, man. That's what they think of you niggas, man. Come get a 10 piece. And, and stick yourself pretty total. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, all right, let's say I didn't know, you know, the truth. And I was in the world and I think that, hey, it's something really out here that, you know, I need to take this particular thing so I can be good, right? And, and so in my ignorance, I, I'll still, you know, I'll go and be like, hey, man, all this, this shit, I'm, fuck, I'm mad that I even got to get the shit for the shit that's so-called out here, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, could hurt you, kill you, whatever, so here's like, fuck, now I want to be safe, so go ahead, all right, I got it, damn, now, I hope I'm good, shit, fuck, this bullshit out here, not, <laughs> I just got it, <laughs> I got it, uh, it's a trend, yeah, they don't date sites, fully bags, yeah, yeah, they post the bags, like, they yeah. you know, it's, it's cool to do it. You know? you know how they do the little mannequin challenge and yeah. shit. They gonna have a pretty Tony challenge, man. Man, bro. One of you niggas is sticking yourself, man. Yeah. Show us you doing it, man. Yeah, yeah. They gonna do that Show shit. Show you join the wax museum. Right. So it's like, even still, like, all right, it, even if you was ignorant to the truth and what's actually going on and their agenda and what they're doing, if you were ignorant to that. And the thing is, is you gotta go do this to be safe, you know what I'm saying, so-called, where is the, <laughs> is that fun, all right, you know, it's like, ah, yeah, I just, you know, got off the roller coaster, and it like was, he just made it to the kingdom while taking that shit, it's like, what the fuck, like, what, what, what's so, all right, you know, that you're gonna be on camera and be the first one and be like, <laughs> oh, it was so good, I had so much fun, oh, I'm so glad that I did, what? Bro, bro, man. bro, bro, listen. Let me say, bro, the niggas at IUIC, 
they went to go take the fucking test. And then they they started interviewing each other. Uh, they asked one of the one of the guys at IUIC, he said, hey, you took the test, right? How was it? He said, it was great. How was it great, nigga? Like somebody just stuffed some shit up your nose. No, no, you heard. That was great. How was it great? Like these niggas out there. You really love Satan. What you got, brother? I got first John 2 and uh, 15. Love not the world, neither the, th neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's right. right. And if the love of the Father ain't in you, you best believe you won't have salvation in the day of the Lord's wrath. All right? You're not going to have salvation, man. All right? And best believe that is numero uno on the list, or should be numero uno to be saved, all right, from the wrath of the Lord. That should be the number one goal, all right, is salvation. Because when the Lord come with what he coming with, man, it, it ain't going to be no games, man. It ain't gonna be no games and no death. All right, no death in all time of death since the beginning of time. It's gonna be like this, man, and and and, and painful and no, no, nothing as painful as this, man. You know, like it's gonna have to damn there be a new word. Like it, no, this is beyond pain. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Lord is coming back with, and motherfuckers are gonna learn to fear Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and understand that his way, his plan was the greatest. That's right. The second Timothy is two and nineteen. Nevertheless the foundation of Yahweh standeth sure having this seal. Yahweh knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that name of the name of Hamashiach depart from iniquity. So the Lord's gonna know who he, know, know who his is, because they're gonna be marked. And he gonna know who ain't his, cause you gonna be marked. And you know, you gonna be marked with that Lucifer phrase. You gonna be marked with that Dorito chip. Hey, All right. Lie, hey, hey, when the Lord said the mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign crime, man. We got y'all got this. Uh, this Hebrews chapter eleven and verse. I start at verse twenty four. It says, "By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter." Yeah, if you equate that to now, you know, hey, hey, uh, Moses, he said, hey, you know what, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be called no Egyptian, you know, I'm gonna be who I am, which was the Israelite, right? It says, verse 25, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. So, hey, Moses, he said, you know what, I'd rather go through that straight gate with my people yep. rather than enjoy the dainties of Egypt. And we in Egypt now, you know, yes. spiritual Egypt, yep. right? Yeah, hey, because, uh, it says that he would rather suffer, right? Yep. Because he understood that that suffering is what's perfecting us. Yep. That suffering was actually needed. All right? That suffering was actually needed ultimately. All right? And so he said, no, I'm going to go through the straight gate, man. You know, I'm going to go through the position of difficulty to ultimately get what's stored up for us. All right, and that's a eternal kingdom right here on the earth. All right, where we're gonna rule it in righteousness, man. We're gonna rule it perfectly. All right, we're gonna rule it perfectly. But for us to have that ability, we had to go through this first, not succumb to it, but overcome it. All right, and we overcome by our faith, man, in the Lord's will. All right, we uh, ha uh, have faith in Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai is the will of the Father. Right. Yahweh Shai is the wisdom of the Father. Yahweh Shai is the plan of the Father. Yahweh Shai is the light of the Father. Yahweh Shai is the life of the Father. Yahweh Shai is the way of the Father. Yahweh Shai is all that. So we gotta have faith in that. Yep. And if we have faith in that, you have to prove it. Show it. Show your faith. All right? Uh, 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 suffer with, with, with those who must suffer that it was appointed for them to suffer so, them, so you could be purified and perfected. And it's only for a season. It's only for a moment. 
Just like, hey, it says the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. And then it says, for our light affliction is but for a moment. All right, so you want to enjoy now with this uh, 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 devil, all right, the wicked for a moment and then have to pay for it? Like excruciating pain. Or would you rather go through now, suffer now in the spiritual fire, all right, to have salvation from the physical fire? And then be one of the top in the governing body, all right, in the kingdom of heaven. Right. All right. It's like uh, 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 Martin, I was just saying earlier. Executive producer, Buffett Flores. Executive producer, Buffett Flores. I'm going to go on with the executive producer, you know. I don't want to buff no floors. See, buff, buffing the floors is live your best life now. And guess what? Now, living your best life now, whether you a millionaire, fuck it, a billionaire. Whether you a billionaire or all the way down on the totem pole or you just like Junebug and uh, trying to live your best life and, you know, some hood star or whatever, you know, ain't got a whole bunch of money, but you even attempting to live your best life. That's buffing floors, man. All right? That's buffing floors compared to the executive producer, all right? Where right now, the executive producer gotta go through the straight gate, all right? The executive producer gotta go through all the trials and tribulations and things, right now, for a season, for a moment, all right? But they got something stored up with them, all right? That's gonna be invaluable. Go ahead. I'm a, I'm a, I got some more in this Hebrews. I'm going to grab this Matthew. This Matthew chapter 11 and verse uh, 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It says verse 29. It says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As the elder bro Yaku was touching on me, hey, you gonna hey the scripture say that you gonna go through the straits either way. Yep. But some gonna suffer for righteousness bro, with hope in the wife, and some are just gonna suffer with no hope, man. Hey, hey, take that that straight gate, man. Hey, the Lord said, wide is the gate that leadeth to destruction, man. You know? Hey, just go ahead and take that bro right now. And it's not that bad. You know, it's kind of hard, but hey, ultimately, hey, we gonna get better than this, man. That's it. Hey, right. It says, hey, uh, uh. You know, uh, you know, my burden, you know, it is light, man. All right, when you talk about, that's why it says the suffering of this present time cannot be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. All right, this is something light, man. All right, now, as the scripture says, no, you know, uh, chastening of the present when you're going through it, all right, it don't seem to be joyous, but grievous. And it is grievous, and that's why we sign in crime. That's why we, uh, what did it say? Uh, uh, you know, those that are uh, heavy late, all right? Trouble. Trouble, all right? It, it said, but our rest is these, this, this comforter, the scriptures, right now. So we then get to our ultimate rest, which are, is our inheritance, the kingdom, where the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written in our minds and our hearts, man. You know, see, but right now, since we understand this, all right, and we know the truth, and we would love to be in our uh, incorruptible bodies in the kingdom of heaven, doing what's right, all right, reigning forevermore, and since we're not like that, we're sighing and crying, all right? It's the present evil world still going on right now, and so we're sighing and crying in that all the while still trying to learn and grow ourselves and then be a part of this legacy of building the house of David, man. If I can quote one for you, Romans, as they say, walking in the spirit is life and peace. Don't just say, hey, being, having this knowledge with my understanding, it's, 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 it's quite simple. 
hey, do the work and wait on the Lord. These people wearing themselves from wickedness. Nigga, I gotta go got get a line of blue pieces. This woman that ain't worth a damn. You know? They they choked out by the cares of this. Like, oh, I gotta go get up and go to work and stack 30K so I can go and get this bread. Just wearing themselves, man. And that's why the scripture says, no man that war entangles himself with the affairs of his life, man. That's one thing I can say the apostles equipped us with, man. Uh, scripture says, though they have wives, be as though they have none, okay? And uh, the, he that sold, you know, be as though he sold not. Meaning, be always be as pilgrims on the earth. Be always ready to get up and go. They put us in a mindset with uh, that, even with women, man. They say, look, man, you got to get your rocks off. Go and get up a motherfucking woman that, that money, man, and get you a hook it, man. Get your rocks off and keep it fucking pushing, man. Make your life a lot easier, man. Yep. All right? Because guess what? We on our way out of here, man. Sick. Hey, we not trying to stay in the damn shopping mall, man. We trying to get our groceries and get the fuck out, man. You know, and, and, and let you people kill each other, man, over the last can of fucking soup, man. All right? So, hey, man, look, we have that mindset. Uh, get a, a, a soldier's mindset, man. Uh, as you just said, uh, we uh, have chosen them to be a soldier. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm get that real quick, my Hey, because a soldier means, uh, uh, the root word of soldier is actually solitary, man. You know? Yeah, we're a brotherhood. Yeah, we all, uh, we all congregate to do this work. But this is a lonely road, man. You in this world, you in this truth by yourself, man. Can't nobody save you, man. You gonna get judged for your work or the lack thereof. You know what I mean? What I'm talking about? Right. In Second Timothy two and three, it says, "Y'all therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach." Wait, endure softness? Endure hardness? And, and, uh, endure shiatsu. Uh, back rub from a professional Chinese woman. Now therefore endure hardness. Take the easy route. Right. Endure hardness. Slide down the rainbow of love <laughs> into the <laughs> swimming pool of melted candy <laughs> with naked wax women. Endure hardness. I'm gonna do that in the kingdom, by the way. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Put that on my list. <laughs> Our list is to come. <laughs> Go ahead. And the Lord's gonna give us a list. Damn, I didn't even know I wanted all that. Yeah, now you know, nigga. Go ahead. In 2 Timothy 2 and 3, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, endure having your children taken away. Endure endure deaths in the family. Alright? Endure being uh 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 cast out uh from the from the these people's presence, man. Endure being cast out of your job, out of society. Being right. approached. Yeah, endure that. You got to. You got to, man. You know? And right, and endure being in that lowest state, man. All right? Endure being the lowest of the lowest. Endure not having, you know, uh, 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 all the things that, you know, they tell you, oh, well, you somebody if you have this. If you have this much money or if you have these particular items, you know, then... Yes. Status is yeah, yeah, up there, you know. Wait. Well, this is Luke 12 and 15. And he said to them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Woo! See, but in this world, that's how it go. That's how you get that status. Yeah, more than All right? That's how you get that particular position. All right? Because, all right, you got this. Your, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, 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 High value male, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if you got this and got that much money, and your circle is those same guys that got the same money as you, and the cars and the clothes and the, the holes and the homes and the this that and other thing. All right, then you a high value male. Nah, not according to y'all. About shimmy, I was shot, man. Right. Go ahead. Uh, oh, that was it, that? No, that's me. The second Timothy two and four says. No man that warp entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Right, and if you've been called into this, you've been called into a war, man. Alright? Ain't no time for no women and children in war. You know? Ain't no time for none of that, man. You gotta hey, you gotta be able to get up and go when, when it's time for you to get up and go. You might have to get let down, you might have to jump out a window, man. <laughs> you never know. You know what I'm saying? You might have to motherfucker run. You might have to run out your house like it's a goddamn crack house. You ain't you ain't did nothing illegal. <laughs> you know? Because hey, this this devil's coming down with great wrath. But we keeping our mind 
single, as scripture says, if you if your if your eye be single, then your whole body should be full of light, which brings that all the way back to the original thing the uh, the elder was going into, man. Having your eyes enlightened, man. Keeping your eyes single means you have your eye on the prize, man. You know? Yeah. yeah. And the prize is 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 salvation, man. The, the, the prize is the kingdom of heaven. All right, matter of fact, let me hit this, 11, uh, Hebrews 11 and uh, 13. It says, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. All right? See, in this present evil world, this first heaven and this first earth, we are strangers and pilgrims. Matter of fact, that pilgrims, it goes to the uh, Greek word G3927, parepeideamos, which it means one who comes from a foreign country into a city or land to reside there by the side of the natives, a stranger, sojourning in a strange place, a foreigner. In the New Testament, metaphorically in reference to heaven as the native country, one who sojourns on the earth, all right? See, the Lord calls us and says, O heavens, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, all right? Because our native is to be righteous, all right? To be righteous, you have to have the righteousness of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from above, all right? And so that is our true nature. Okay, and that is where we want to be. That's why we desire to be clothed upon with our house from heaven, man. All right, we 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 desire to be clothed upon with the incorruptible bodies. All right, because that's our true nature. See, because right now we're strangers in this right here, in this flesh that's uh, uh, subject to sin. All right. This, this this flesh right here, all right, that it, 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 Paul said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. He said, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I don't like it. This ain't who I am, all right? This is not me. I'm, I'm, I'm a stranger in this right here. I'm a stranger in this present evil world. I'm just, I'm, I, I come from a foreign country to reside here by the natives just for uh, uh, my learning, all right? Just so I can experience it because ultimately this is who I'm gonna be ru ruling over. Those who are still in flesh that's susceptible to sin. I'm gonna be ruling over them. So now to rule righteously and judge righteously, I had to go there, deal with it. You know what I'm saying? See what they was gonna be in. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm ultimately judge over them. And the judge rightfully, I had to have been there and done that. I got the t-shirt too. I got the experience of it. I know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? I know what it's like, motherfucker. But shit, while I was in it, I fought against that shit. So now, nigga, you do it too. Because there's going to be a penalty for when you go off. So go off less, motherfucker. Because they ain't going to never be perfect like us. You know what I'm saying? So this was a place that we had to come through. It was the entrance to get to our inheritance, the kingdom of heaven. Right, so Scripture says, says we have our citizenship in heaven. You see? We call us to the world in heavenly places. That's right. See, that's the common wealth of Israel, man, is that our citizenship is in the heavens, man. That's right, you know? Hey, uh, they got a thing called uh, diplomatic immunity. Uh, I saw that in the movie and shit. Lethal weapon. Yeah, yeah, that's like, because they locked the nigga up. He kept saying diplomatic immunity. And that's what we tell Esau right now, man. Diplomatic immunity, man. All right? Hey, it says that Obadiah ambassadors were sent to the heathen, man. That's it. All right? We're ambassadors of the Lord, man. And we got diplomatic immunity, which means that we can't be judged by your laws. We can't be judged on your soil because we're sovereigns. Yep. You're going to find that out the hard way, man. You gonna try to do some shit? Imagine if Vladimir Putin said, okay, you know, I'm gonna come to America, I'm gonna talk to Joe Biden, even though he's retarded. I know he doesn't understand anything I say. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't understand what he's saying. 
But let me go talk to him real quick. So they so 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 Russia comes. So uh, the, the president of Russia comes to America to talk to Joe Biden. And then they like, yeah, come in, come in, uh, Putin, yeah, sit down. And they all tackle his ass and then lock him up. You know what the fuck is gonna happen? Like an hour from that, missiles will be on their way here. Or well, matter of fact, ground troops will be coming to get get them out. They'll have China and all type of other motherfuckers with them to get them out that jam. Once they get them off soil, they're, they're gonna, gonna nuke your fucking ass, ass, man. All right. So what you're about to witness is what happens when you arrest a sovereign from another nation. That's what the fuck is about to happen to you, because you're about to try to uh, arrest the Lord's ambassadors from the heavens, and then. What's gonna happen after that is the heavenly hosts are gonna fall upon your ass. Right. Hey, what, uh, what you got, brother? We got a Matthew seven and uh, thirteen. Enter ye into enter ye in at the straight gate. The wide is Matthew seven and thirteen. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For why? gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat. You see many are going to go into all the different ways of darkness that leads to ultimate destruction. Alright that's why you got so many different religions out here in the world so many different philosophies so many different cultures so many different all these that everybody is into whatever they want to be in. Alright and it all leads to a downfall and death, all right? And many, that's why it says it, and broad is the way <laughs> that leads to destruction, man. That's why he says, enter in at the straight gate, the position of difficulty, that one way, one. All right, go ahead. <laughs> because straight is the gate, narrow is the way, which leading into life, and few there be that find it. You see, only few are going to find it. All right. And that's because the Lord had given them, <clears throat> given them that way to find that way. All right. And that way is right now the straight gate in this present evil world going through the po uh, position of difficulty, knowing that we are strangers and pilgrims on this earth where we're not uh, uh, going to... Um, uh, reside by the side of the natives and be equal with them. We're not going to be above them. All right. And so, since that's the case, we understand that. We, we this is for us, for us not to be above or equal to them, but below them. And then, since that's the case, we got to go ahead and take that because that's all a part of our learning. All right. All the while, hey, we go through the necessary things that we got to go through and learn and grow in the spirit. All right. We ain't coming in after uh, 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 what they got because we know that, hey, they a basket case. You know, I'm talking about the richest elite is a basket case compared to what the uh, the elite of the uh, Israelites are, are, are going to have, man. In the kingdom of heaven, man. That's it. You know, these people with like fucking you could say trillions of dollars but it's really they don't need no dollars they liquid they can do just whatever they want they, they point to it and they got it you know what i'm saying that right there is still a basket case compared to the elite man see because the elite of this world the banking elite all right the wicked they can't go to where we gonna be going they can't go to the depths of the sea all right, they can't go into you know outer space and you know other galaxies. All they right, got an expiration date. Forget about all right, that. Right, right, they right. Don't expire. Exactly. They haven't even found out how to live forever. See, we're talking about the elite of the uh, 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 the Israelites, the elect, who has this understanding that yo. We're supposed to be on the bottom right now. All right, we're just strangers and pilgrims in, in, in this world. We're not with this world. All right? Those, uh, the, the, those that's uh, of the elect, man, 
gonna live forever. All right, never die. They're gonna continuously explore because existence is gonna expand forever. All right, and so there'll there'll always be something to do and explore. <laughs> you know, and it's gonna be beautiful, man. Hey, uh, would you rather watch a, a movie about somebody going to another planet or just fucking go to another planet? You know what I'm saying? That's as far as you're gonna go, man. As far as you're gonna go is your Hollywood. Right. Other than that, your next stop is slavery right. and then death. Right. You can go to the planetarium right. and sit in the sit back and right. you know see space and it's coming at you. Right, right, right. It's like, oh, that was fun. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh I'm in space right now. Right. Look at it. You know. <laughs> then you go home and get cussed out by your wife. <laughs> you gotta buy your damn son some ice cream. Right. You already had too much. Right. Well, you fuck you. You're a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that, man. Yeah, that's what goes on, man. It is. Yo, know? it is. It is. Bill Gates. Motherfucker got all these billions, trillion, whatever. And his you know husband still cheats on him. And his husband still. <laughs> Breaking the bitch off with some money for new for breakfast. Right. right. His husband, his husband cheats on him with other men. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And he pays her. And he pays her. Hey, look at Dr. Dre. Nigga, all that money. That nigga a billionaire. Not anymore. This is what I bust my ass for, literally. Right. So now that's that nigga pays his ass for. Right. That's what, yeah. So now, every month, he got to give this woman that he ain't even dealing with. No 300000 <laughs> Every month, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Every month, this bitch ain't made one beat uh, uh, until she get hey, until she get married again. Which ain't gonna happen. She ain't gonna no. Nah, she just gonna be fucking. She back. Uh, she uh, 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 back, back in the streets. The uh, what what is that? Uh, the CC, the cock carrots yeah. for the streets. Yeah. yeah. Wait wait what? For the streets. Right. She, for the streets. She, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She ain't if not. She got money. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that, that, and that's the nigga woman, man. They'll die alone gladly, man. Yeah. Eminem can't even. Niggas to the advantage. Eminem can't even get that much money from Dr. Dre. He wrote his raps. This bitch ain't made a beat. <laughs> she ain't come to press the key piano key in that motherfucker. You know? But hey, man, that's that what happened. Bitch, that bitch probably ain't even clean the house or cook or do nothing. No. Nah. That bitch was fucking. That's it. Hey, hey, hey that, that's what happens when you, when, you, when you make a deal with the devil, man. You know? Oh man, uh, what it says, um, yeah, your cup, grab that real quick, Baba Kisha. All right, I got one too. This is uh, Proverbs, this is Proverbs 23. I'm gonna start at one. It's Proverbs 23 and one. When thou sittest to, with, with a ruler, consider diligently what is said before thee. So, hey man, when you sitting with a ruler, man, <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Hey man, I, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a motherfucker sit next to me. Hey man, you drink this first. Hey man, you taste that, fucker. You know what I mean? Make sure this nigga ain't trying to poison my ass. Put a knife to thy throat if thou, if thou be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meats. So everything that this devil puts out, it is to ensnare you, man. It is to entrap you, man. And they had a saying in this movie called. Um, uh, Fight Club, he said, uh, the things that you own end up owning you. You think you bought a house, no, the house bought you, nigga. Matter of fact, the, the house bought a slave. You bought a car, the car bought a slave. Okay? Because you're going to be working for that for the rest of your life. You know? Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. And that's what they, the, 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 the Lord is telling us, man. Uh, lean not to your own understanding, man. Okay? You don't know what money is. You don't know what a dollar is. You don't know what it is to be rich. You don't know what life is. I do. Shut the fuck up. It's just like a woman. You take her to a restaurant she's never been to. Shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what you want to eat. I'm going to tell you what you're going to eat. I'm going to order you something. Right. And then, and then you're going to be like, oh my God, it was so good. I know it's good, bitch. I eat here. <laughs> you eat at Harold's. Have a Coke and a smile. You've never been at a Mediterranean restaurant. Okay, go ahead. What you got? I got a quick one for you. Oh, wait, let me, uh, let me, let me get a little bit more. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? Right, will you set your eyes upon that which is not? You throw dollars at the nigga, he think he rich, man. You got paper. It's not real. 
All right? The elites are laughing at you because they own you, nigga. For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards the heaven, towards heaven. Right? And when all and when, when this dollar collapses and it's all gone, then you're going to realize who the real rich men are, what riches really are. Because the men that have this riches uh, have laid up treasures in heaven and stored up uh, their treasure in heaven, which is this knowledge of wisdom and understanding. They're going to, as the scripture says, they're going to shine like the brightness of the firmament. Whereas your face is going to be black as, as, uh, as, as the night. Um, Eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. And this devil has an evil eye towards you, man. You know, he's, he, uh, you, you want to go to dinner a nigga that, that nigga that told you, I hate watching you eat. Nigga, I hate doing this shit, nigga. Nigga, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Swap the goat. And one day, yeah, nigga, like, rip the throat out, nigga. The nigga hates you. He told you he hated you. Know, <laughs> the next week, like, yeah, come on for dinner, man. Yeah. <laughs> shall weary themselves for very vanity all right so we're not we're not meant to be here breaking our neck for vanity man for things that are not gonna uh profit you in the last days to come the scripture said riches profit not in the day of wrath man this dollar's gonna collapse it's gonna become toilet paper all right all these stores are gonna get looted all right the lights are gonna go out in your city 911 ain't gonna work every damn animal gonna come out the forest to come pay you a visit all right man Every creep gonna get out the damn uh, the, the the mental institution and the prison and run around butt naked and rape every goddamn thing. So what, so in that day you gonna need you gonna need the most high to, uh, to, to to be on your side, man. That's it. You got a question? We are in the last day. Yeah. We're talking about right now. Right now is the last day. We're in the last days right now. It, it, it ain't even the last days no more. It's the last seconds. Yeah. The last seconds. Yeah. Our lifetime, our Lord and Savior is coming. Coming. No one knows the exact day, time, or second. We was going over that a little earlier, but it says that the, the, the men of the Lord, they know they're not in darkness, that the day of the Lord is going to overtake them as a thief. So when that happens, how is that going to happen? How is what going to happen? Most high is coming. Uh, right? Yep, he's going to. So well, is it like what the church is saying? How is they saying? Or y'all saying a different No, no, see, the church is. In these churches today, same book, right. wrong interpretation. All right, because what happens is the, the our, our people that's in these churches, the pastors, what they do is they go and say, they decide themselves and say, you know what? I want to know the Bible. So I'm going to go to this school called a college and uh, go to seminary school, all right, or theology classes. I'm going to pay them money to teach me the understanding of the Bible. They're going to give me the understanding of the Bible. Then after I go to my school for however many years, whatever courses, classes you got.
got to take to get the piece of paper to say, ah, yes, you're now a doctor in divinity and you know the Bible. Here, you can go set you up a church and teach the people. It don't work like that. You got something real quick? Yeah, this is uh, this is Acts uh, 8 and 20. Uh-huh. But Peter said unto him, thy money perish with thee. Go, go up uh, uh, yeah. uh, one or two. Watch yeah. it. Because there was a guy named, uh, his name was Simon, a sorcerer, all right? And he bewitched people like he was somebody that was teaching some good things like these preachers today, all right? But the Lord did not send him. He was a false prophet, all right? He was a false teacher. But then he saw the true teachers, the apostles, all right, who the Lord actually sent to teach the word, and he was like, man, he seen how they was teaching and then go, was converting the, uh, uh, the people, all right? And they were believing in what they were saying and he was, he got wooed off of them. Here it is, he was already with, you know, using sorcery and lies and deceit to bewitch people to believe in what he was saying. But then when he saw the true men of the Lord, he was like, wow. So go ahead, what did it say? Oh, you. I'm gonna read it. Okay. Start at 17. It's Acts chapter eight and verse 17. Uh huh. It says, "Then laid their hands on." So like it says, "Then laid they their hands on them." That when you lay your hands on somebody in the Bible, it talk that means that we were speaking the truth. Like right now, I'm laying my hands on you by speaking the word of God in truth to you. So that's what they were doing. Go ahead. And they received the Holy Spirit. And they received the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. And when Simon saw that through laying one of the apostles' hands. The Holy Spirit was given. See, now when Simon saw that man by those men teaching the word of God, the Holy Spirit was given to those that was uh, uh, listening. All right, go ahead. He offered them money. He offered them money to have the ability to do the same thing. Go ahead. Saying, give me also this power that on whosoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. Uh huh. But Peter said unto him, thy money pairs with thee. Woo! Because thou hast thought that the gift of the Most High may be purchased with money. The gift of the Most High is the understanding of this book in truth. The understanding of it in truth. Somebody get me uh, Romans 11 and 33. You so, speak of the Spirit. Right, the Holy Spirit. You know what the Holy Spirit is? Somebody get me uh, St. John 14 and uh, uh, where uh, it says, uh, but the, 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 the Spirit with Israel. Yeah, well, well, it's, it's, uh, matter of fact, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Do you guys have a congregation, like, not a congregation, like, a study, or? Yeah, well, this is where we teach. Okay. The Bible commands the true men of the Lord to go out into the highways and byways and teach and compel my people to come in, all right? And so this is what we do. Then from house to house, we, I may go over to his house tomorrow and do a lesson, you know, and then we upload it to YouTube. Now I can go all around the world, all right? And so uh, that's that, that's what now when we actually, we have classes amongst ourselves where we fellowship with one another, you know, we have class and we continue to learn and grow in the spirit. Yes, we, we do that amongst ourselves. You know, we don't have where, oh, it's open to the public. Right now, it's open to the public. Right now, we're speaking to the people and you can come up, anybody can come up, ask questions, disagree with us, want to fight us, want to beat us up, want to kill us. This is what's going on. All right? See, but we, we already know that the will of the Father is going to happen. See, they call us a hate group. We, we're, we're the worst people in the world because we're speaking of the will of the Father. And the ultimate will of the Father is to destroy this place. So now you guys are not the same as like Farrakhan. Right? Absolutely not. Farrakhan is in a false doctrine. He a Muslim. That's a false doctrine. All, all religions is man-made. All of them. All of them. All right? Have you ever seen one in the Bible? Religion in the Bible? Right. So this Bible was not meant for religious purposes, all right? The, the Bible, for one, is a book that was with, with the words of God, all right? See, because somebody give me uh, 1 Peter 1 and uh, 19, and I'm going to still get that same time. Everybody has a Bible, but how are they getting different interpretations? Exactly. Beautiful question. Beautiful question. Exactly. I mean, Exactly. That's confusing. That's I was just about to say. Yep. Is everybody coming up with 
this exactly. and this yep. and that. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Beautiful questions. A lot Beautiful of these people, question. They set up by the state to come up with this stuff. Yeah. 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 Trick people. Yeah. And this is all. This is all a yeah. part of the will of the father because mm -hmm. you can't just get like. It's not that easy just for you to understand the, the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? You just can't understand it and believe it on your own. Well, you have the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And so, for it's a lot of different doctrines. So, you man, people don't know which one is the truth. See, but it's the most high God that's going to rest his Holy Spirit upon you. Just like we was reading when it says when they laid their hands on them, the Holy Spirit was given. So right now, while I'm giving you the understanding, I can't give you the grasp of the understanding. I'm telling you that one plus one equal two. And then I can give you the breakdown of how one plus one equal two. But you won't get it unless the most high rest the Holy Spirit upon you to receive what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's how when the uh, the Bible says um, uh, Apollos, uh, uh, well, the Apostle Paul said, I have planted, Apollos have watered, but it's the most high that get an increase. So then he goes on to say, neither is he that planted anything, nor is he that watereth anything, but the most high that get an increase. Because when, Apo uh, 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 when he planted, what did he plant? He plant the word of God in the minds of the people. So he's doing what he was talking about. He was planting. That's what I'm doing now. I'm planting the word of God in your mind. Now, if the most high give you the increase, that's on him. You know what I'm saying? I can't give you the increase. Well, I know that. You know what I'm saying? The spirit. Right. So matter of fact, uh, uh, in this St. John real quick, watch this. Oh, you got it? Let me hit 15. Okay, you know what? Uh, just hit 16. This John chapter uh, 14 and verse 15, uh, verse 16, it says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, mm -hmm. that he may abide with you forever. Verse 17, even the spirit of truth. See, the comforter, even the spirit of truth is the truth of this Bible. Jump down to verse 26. Verse 26. Matter, matter of fact, keep going in that. Verse 17, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Whoa. It says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. All right? The world can't receive it because they ain't, he ain't giving it to them. All right? He's given this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to specific, specific people. All right? Um, jump down to 26. Verse 26. Uh -huh. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. See, the Holy Spirit is going to teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. All right. So the, it's the most high that dictates the Holy Spirit. So here it is. He put the Holy Spirit upon the men that you see right now to have the ability to receive it, apply it and teach it. Then. He gives the ability to the men, women, and children who are not the prophets, who are not the teachers, but they're going to receive the word of God, all right, through the words of the, the men that he set up to teach and all through the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is upon us to have the ability to receive, apply, and teach. Then if he rests the Holy Spirit upon you, then you'll be able to receive and apply it to the best of what was given to you to apply and then when the Lord come back, he's seen that, yep, you had faith in my word, all right? In the 100% truth, not these false doctrines that's in these churches today, all right? Because they're the blind leading the blind and they all gonna fall into a ditch, no matter how good of a person they think they are, all right? They have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge, all right? Like it says in Romans chapter 10, but let me hit this up. Uh... the age of them. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yep, 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 because the truth is now out. See, when we got brought over here as slaves, all right, the, the, these are the true children of the Most High God, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right now, we're in captivity, all right? We are the same people that uh, uh, he led out of ancient Egypt, all right, via Moses. We walked across the, the, the sea, all right, on dry land, all right? That was us, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He said, yo, when you get to your land, the promised land, Israel, I've given you a way. I've given you law, statutes, and commandments to do that. Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 28.1. Well, the, well, the commandments, not all of them are in the Bible. So you know 
all, all are in the Bible. I mean, the, some the, of them are missing. Well, I tell you this: what's needed for salvation, all right, and ultimately what's needed to live forever, is contained right here in the Bible. It's the Word of God. Before you hit that, somebody give me that uh, First Peter one and uh, uh, nineteen, real quick. Whoever get it first, watch this. Well, watch this. I'm about to get this. Thing. First Peter 1 and 19. Uh huh. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, uh, who verily was uh, ordained. Uh, second, second, second Peter. Peter. I'm sorry. Second Peter 1 and 19. We have, a, we have also a more sure word of prophecy. See? Apostle Peter said, we have a more sure word of prophecy. Where unto ye do well that ye take heed. Where you do well that you take heed to what we saying. As unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Unto a light that shineth in a dark place. And this is the light that's coming out right now in this dark place, this present evil world. Until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Until Yahweh rise in your mind and you have this understanding until ultimately he comes as well. Go ahead. It says knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture knowing this first that no prophecy of the Bible the words of the Bible is of any private interpretation. It's not of any private interpretation. It didn't come from a specific man here on the earth and their thoughts, their opinions, their minds. It, it didn't come from a man. Read. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. See, it didn't come in old time by the will of man. While a man, men wrote this book, it didn't, it wasn't their opinions, it wasn't their will, it wasn't their knowledge. They were in a trance, if you will, writing the words as the Holy Spirit had given them the ability to do so. All right? But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. As they were moved by what? Moved by the Holy Spirit. You see? And the Most High alone dictates the Holy Spirit. No man dictates the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, if it rests upon you, then you have a measure of understanding of this Bible here. A measure of understanding that's needed for the strength of your salvation, all right? And the stability of the times. So you to be stable in all times of mayhem, chaos, and uproars of the people, which is right soon, you will be like, ah, I understand. I know why this is going on. Not only do I know why, I know what's about to happen afterwards. Now the name, uh, in the Bible, it speaks of Jesus. Uh huh. We know that's not a name, right? Absolutely. So, the righteous one is doing The Bible been tampered with some type of way. That's in there. Yeah. Well, what you have to understand is, see, this word, while they tampered with it and took some words out, maybe added a word or two in. We understand that the, the true men of the Lord understand and know. See, but what we have is the word of God in truth and could discern. All right. When, oh, yeah, they took this particular thing out just like this right here. This is a part of the Bible, which they took out. The, the most high saw fit that we actually have this in these last days because it is a part of the standard. It's what's needed for our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right? And so that's the whole thing, man. We have what's needed for salvation, all right? And ultimately, uh, uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which makes you a, a God, all right? When you perform it, all right? And we're not going to perform it until the kingdom of heaven, all right? Which is right soon. But um, who, I, 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 I call for something. What was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get that. It's Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is saved. Everybody know the name of Jesus. Uh, so, uh, hey, can I add something real quick? Absolutely. Uh, hey, because the scripture says, when this gospel is preached throughout the whole earth, then shall the end come. Jesus has been preached since probably about, a, shit, what, six, 500, 600 years? Yep. 
it's been Jesus everywhere. The, the first thing they, they, they made the natives uh, worship when they came here was Jesus and the same false plantation Christianity that they teach in this church. That shit been, that shit been t taught for hundreds of years and the end they came, the Lord they, the Lord they came in. When, when, the, when you start seeing Israelites come, that's when all hell start breaking loose. That's when people start having to wear masks. That's when shit start getting locked down. That's when people start shooting missiles at each other. Right. That's when war started kicking off. That's right. That's when the, the, the dollar started collapsing. All right? We're at the end of this now. Why? Because of what we're teaching right now, which is Yahweh Shai and his true gospel. The scriptures talk about the apostles gospel, which apostle means to be sent away. The men that you see out on the highways, the by byways, with this true doctrine are the men that are sent out. And the way it works is the word goes out and then the end comes. That's it. Yep. And, and so also in the scriptures, we were left the Hebrew language. Yep. All right. The true Lashawan Kodash. All right. Lashawan Kodash meaning holy tongue. All right. And so here it is. Now we know that his name is not Jesus. There wasn't even a, a J in the Hebrew. There was no E's in Hebrew. There were no U's in Hebrew. All right. And so now we have the the the, the alphabet or the Allah but all right, which is the Hebrew alphabet. All right. And so also we through the spirit because our Lord and Savior said that he gave us he gave us the name. Matter of fact, let me hit this right here. Now as far as the name, you can get that um, the name. Now what I, I, I've been doing research, right? Mm -hmm. And with the name I came up Okay. That's D-O-C-C, Doc. Right. I, I don't know. No, no, right, right. That's, that's I, just... I don't know about them. I'm saying the research topic. Yeah, because... Through the books that I... Okay, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
Yo, yep. then you got Jeremiah, yep. Isaiah, yep. Obadiah, mm -hmm. and then like the and yeah. Jehoshaphat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Jehoshaphat, when you see Jehoshaphat in the Bible, that, that is Yahweh Shapat. All right, Yahweh Shapat. Shapat means judgment. So Yahweh's judgment. All right, Yahweh's judgment. Yep. So his name is Yahweh, the Most High God. Yahweh. He be. He exists. He, exists. he is. Yep. He always has been. The J's and turn the Y's into the J's. All the names. It's a bastardized language. This is, this is English. And uh, like, hey, like my elders always say, uh, it's like a spell. names don't translate. That too, yes, yes, it yes. is. Names don't translate. A name does never change. Doesn't That's matter right. what language you talking about. Anyway, uh, any you go to uh, China, Bang Hang Bao, Bing Hang Jiao, Bang Bang Bao, Michael Joy. Yep. See yep. what I'm saying? Yep. Bang yep. Hang Bing, Bong Hong Wang, LeBron James. LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Or you go to Russia. All right, and they're talking about Obama and Donald yeah. Trump. Schlitz von Hegen, my Schlitz von Vodka, <laughs> Michael Zorn. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, wherever you go, the name, you know, proper names don't translate. So it's the same name. Why do you change your name? Like, if you got a name, your name might be Tony. Right. How do you come into your real name? Well, we give ourselves names. Now, me personally, my, my my name is my Hebrew name is Yakia, Yakia, all right. And how I got that because uh, now my middle name is Jock, Jock. That's my given middle name from my mama. Now you know what I'm saying, Jock. My middle name was Jock, Jock, right? So the closest thing to that was Yak, because I went from my first name and it wasn't. Uh, it didn't, my first name didn't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't even get no. Hebrew word from my name, so I was like, "Well, well, my name, my middle name is Jock." So I was like, "Well, ain't nothing. I don't mean nothing. Else, you know what I'm saying?" So, what's the closest uh, Hebrew word to Jock? Yak. You know what I'm saying? Yak, which comes from the Hebrew root word Yad, which means hand or side. All right. So then, when I put the Yah at the end of it, Yak Yah, then that's side of God or hand of God or hand of Yahweh. You know, and so, you know, this brother name, you know, was Jonah, his given name in the world. But so that was easy. So now in the world, we, we read of Jonah in the Bible and in the Hebrew it's Yawana. You know what I'm saying? So now his name is Yawana, which is, duh. you know, and so this is, you know, and then sometimes some brothers just, you know, get a name given to them by one of the elder brothers. You know what I'm saying? And it's all through the spirit. Because, you know, one brother name is uh uh Kawadia, all right? Because he asks a lot of questions. Alright? One brother name is Yaquaria, because he's a, a peculiar brother, you know. And he speaks like almost in riddles. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about yeah. the Indians, how when they talk, they always talk about You notice that? They're Israelites. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they would go. Yeah. That, that, that was one of the things. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 That's what they were saying. Yes, oh. yes, because they are Israelites. I got one. You know? Can, can, can I bring this out real quick? Why don't just back you up? Yeah. This is Isaiah 44 and 5. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh. And surname himself by the name of Israel. Mm -hmm. So this is a prophecy of what we're doing right now. One shall let me read it again for you so you get a better understanding. Uh Isaiah 44 and 5. One shall say, I am the Lord. So when we wake up, we're saying we are the Lord. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, which later was chained to Israel. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh and surname himself by the name of Israel, which that's Yashara Allah, all right? He is Prince of the Power because, hey, uh, Yahweh is, he is. So th that name is on us. So what we do is when we come into the shoe, we surname ourselves by the name of uh, Israelite name. And it's all through the spirit, you know? One brother might be fasted doing something. We might call him Mahar. Mahar means speed, speed yeah. you know? Like we say, uh, if we say Yahweh Maharti, we're saying 
Yahweh, which is God, speed. So we're wishing you God speed. You know what I'm saying? You know? Or uh, you know, a brother might a brother might uh like to drink. We'll call him Shikari. You know what I'm saying? You know? Well Shikar means basically strong drink. You know, like yeah, that brother could drink, man. He'll drink you under the table. So we'll call him Shikar. Yeah, what you, you know? got, brother? Pro uh please ask this one. Uh <clears throat> or a spirit again in that name in the Hebrew. It says for the same thing uttered in Hebrew translated into another tongue have not the same force in them and not only these things but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the book right. have no small differences when they are spoken in their own language so That's when it. you hear it in, so when you hear it in hebrew it's like hearing it it's like it's like hearing it for the first time you know because america the english language is a bastardized language and it's the most it's a shyster's language you can say uh, one word, it can have seven different meanings. Uh, uh, yes. Hey, uh, you ever seen the movie Amistad? Yeah. Do you remember when um, basically they were telling him uh, maybe? He was like, he don't understand maybe. There's no maybe in his language. Because basically he was dealing with Hebrew. He was dealing with, uh, uh, he was coming from West Africa. Those were Israelites, okay? And uh, basically he was like, there's no maybe in our, in our language. Either you're gonna do something or you don't. The Hebrew language is like that, it's straightforward. It's not a bunch of shyster if, what ifs, and maybe, none of that shit it, it exists. I read somewhere, uh, I, it was a video the world people. The world was created from the Hebrew, it was spoken, the world was, it was Hebrew. Yes, uh, that, that, yes. The creation, the uh, created. Absolutely. Yes. You have no kids? No, no, you had kids, though, yeah, right? Yeah. When they're babies, they come out speaking that pure language. And you look at the alphabet, you see that's the Hebrew alphabet, the alphabet which babies speak. It's the pure language. Suppose I said that. Up. Yep. The pure, yeah. The, yep. The holy tongue, you know, is the Lashawan Kodash. All right. Yep. Nonsense. Just confusing. That's what it is. This is Babylon. Yep. And when the Lord came down to speak to Paul, it says he spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. Okay, so that is the language of the heavens. So yeah. Yep. I got a scripture real quick. Uh, this is uh, Saint John, chapter seventeen, and I'm gonna start at nine and then jump down. This is in red. This is our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai speaking, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. It says, "For I have given, I'm yeah. For I have given unto them." Verse 7. Wait a minute. I have to hit verse 6. Uh, bam. 5. Uh, okay. It says, verse 5. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. All right? I have manifested thy name to the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. So the words that the Most High God gave to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, he gave to the men that the Most High God, Yahweh, gave to Yahweh Shai. But watch this. It says, Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known all the things which thou, uh, whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out of thee, and they believe that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. 
our Lord and Savior is glorified in the men that's teaching his words. All right. All right. He's glorified in us walking the walk that he did. All right. And our Lord and Savior said he overcame the world. He wasn't about this present evil world. Neither are we. All right. And we speak against this present evil world that it's going to have a, a, a ultimate downfall and destruction. When we say things like that, people look at us like we crazy. Like, well, you know, like, man, we want this world to be destroyed. So the world to come that's filled with all good things and led in righteousness comes. And it's going to be right here on the planet Earth. All right. See, but people don't understand that. All right. But let me keep going. Watch this. It says, I'm going to jump to verse. Uh, you have to interpret the business dreams. Or you have uh, particular men who have that ability. You know, because each and every member of the body of Yahawashah, which are the apostles, the prophets, the teachers, the helps, all right, they all have their offices and their abilities and their talents, all right, that was given to them, all right? So yes, you have some, me personally, I don't think that's me that, you know, could give you the breakdown of your dream, you know, but you have bros who you, you have bros who can ha uh, uh, do that, have that ability. All right. So uh, this is uh, Saint John 17, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna just keep going. 14. It says, "I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world." I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. They're going to be sanctified, set aside with the truth, while everybody else scramble and try to find out the truth and lean to their own understanding. All right? And lean to the understanding of a man. Okay? It says... Even as I am not of the world, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone. So he said, I'm not praying for those who you gave me that I gave them thy word and I sent them out to teach the word and have the ability to do so. I don't only pray for them. It says, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So now, here we are that sent with the word of God to have the ability to speak it in truth. He said he don't only pray for us, but he going to pray for them who is going to believe on him through their word. Through our word, you might wind up believing. And if you wind up believing this truth through the words that you're hearing from us, because the Lord rested his Holy Spirit upon you to give the increase to you to receive and make sense of this, makes sense of what we're saying. Then he put the Holy Spirit on you to have that ability to receive it. And then if you receive it and endure to the end, all right, then you're going to be saved from the wrath of the Lord. You know, and so this is what it's all about. Now, somebody give me Romans 11 and 7. All right, because you're going to have some that this word is a stumbling block to. All right, and they believe in a misinterpretation of it. I got you, brother. And that's going to lead them to a ditch. All right, go ahead, brother. It's the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. Uh huh. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. See, Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. What, as Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, what do we seek for? The truth. That's why we in all manner of different religions and philosophies just trying to find out, okay, what's the truth? Go ahead. So it says that the, the, the Israelites, Israel, have not obtained that which he seeketh for. They haven't obtained the truth. He read. But the election have obtained it. Whoa. The rest were blinded. But the election have obtained it. The elect of the nation of Israel have obtained the truth. All right. They obtained the truth because it was given to them. They didn't obtain the truth because they, you know, went and searched and did research and found out, oh, my research skills are so good that I, <laughs> I have found out. 
nah, it don't work like that. Matter of fact, before you continue in that, Romans 11 and 33. Romans chapter 11 and verse 33. Uh huh. It says, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. You say what? Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. Here is the wisdom and knowledge of God. This word right here. That's the wisdom and knowledge of God, right? It says, Oh, the depth of it, how deep it is. All right. Go ahead. It says, how unsearchable are his judgments. Wait a minute, what? How unsearchable are his judgments uh -huh. and his ways past finding out. You, it says how unsearchable. You, can't, you can read this Bible a million times, a literal million times, and never get it. See, you can read a, 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 a electrician book, and then you can know how to do some things that an electrician do. You can read a book on plumbing, and then you'll be able to go in your thing and do some things because you got the understanding from, from that book. All right. See, that's man's wisdom. All right. But the Bible says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And it's the power of God. He dictates who receives his word. Matter of fact, first and foremost, he, dicti he dictates his own word, his mouth, his mouthpiece. Somebody get me real quick, Hosea 12 and 10. You still hold that, you still hold that. 12 and 10. Hosea 12 and 10. And it reads, I have also spoken by the prophets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Most High God just said, I have spoken. Who did he speak? How did he speak? I have also spoken by the prophets. Give me Baruch 1 and 21. Go ahead. And I have multiplied visions and similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. The most high God, he speaks. And when he speaks, he dictates his mouth. And when he speaks, and who he speaks through. All right? He do that. Don't nobody could search out his ways and his understanding and then speak it to you. We don't have that power. All right? That's given from the most high God, the creator. All right. It gets no powerful than Yahweh. All right. You might want to listen to him. You might want to roll with his plan. All right. And so, matter of fact, give me that. It's Baruch 1 and 21. Uh-huh. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord, our God. Wait a minute. The voice of who? Our God. You know what hearken mean? Listen. Listen. So it's saying that, hey, we have not listened unto the voice of the Lord. We have not listened to the voice of the Lord. Let's keep reading. According unto all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. You see? So there are some men on the earth today that's speaking the word of God directly and correctly. Direct and correct. The only way that they have the ability to speak the word of God direct and correct is if the most high God send them. Uh, Wait, Jeremiah 3 right here. This Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse See, that's 15. the spirit. I was about to ask him to get He already had it. Go ahead. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. I will do what? Give you pastors according to mine heart. Not that set themselves up and thought that, oh, we can pay for the understanding of this Bible, so I'm going to go to my enemy to learn our book. This ain't their book. This our book. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be written in our minds and our hearts. Matter of fact, get finish that. Give me Hebrews 10 and 8. It's Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Woo! See, I'm going to give you uh, 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 pastors according to my heart that's going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit a couple of them too. Watch this. Now, and... Um, Yep, yep, every, every Saturday we, uh, we get here around 3 o'clock, 3, 3.15, you know, something around there. You got to go? Oh. Yeah, I just got to work. I just, I've been, I've been seeing y'all up here. Okay. And I work day shift. Okay. And I saw y'all there, but we were stopping to see the because a lot of people are saying different things. Oh, yeah. We're fighting against each other. Yes, and yes. They got this and this. Hey. Yes, so hey. And, uh, Yahweh, and I don't believe yes, in Yes, right. 
Israelites. Exactly. <laughs> even amongst those who know that they Israelites and even those that say they teachers. All right. You have a bunch of them that's false as well. My thing is, how could you say a lot of false doctrine? But they do. You know what I'm saying? They, they right. It is. Because see, when you say you're Hebrew mm -hmm. and you're Israelite, yep. uh, people look at that and they look at, okay, these people understand, but then you start talking. Mm -hmm. You say, how bad you say, over this Yep. Yep. Can I read this real quick? Yep. Yep. Sorry. Go ahead. This is, let me read this for you real quick. This is Luke chapter 12 and 51. Suppose ye that I have come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. Yep. So the Lord has all these uh, things divided. Why? Because hey, the, the, the truth, the truth is gonna be a straight gate. Straight meaning a position of difficulty. It's not gonna be easy to find. The Lord didn't want it to be easy to find. Uh uh, what does it say? The, uh, lest they be converted and they be healed. healed. Yep. Uh, 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 Matter of fact, uh, Romans 11 and 7. Yeah, keep, keep, keep in that Romans. I actually wanted you to uh, continue. continue I got, I got go ahead, brother. You want me to read 8? Yeah, go ahead. It's Romans 11 and 8. According as it, as, as it is written. Now, we had just read in this same uh, chapter how that the, the election have obtained the truth and the rest of the Israelites were blinded. All right, we're blinded to the truth. So now they all in all kind of Christianity, modern day Christianity, uh, Muslim doctrines, uh, Jehovah's Witness, Buddhist, you know, even those who know that they Israelites still believe in a false doctrine. You know what I'm saying? So they were blinded to the truth. Right. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm gonna read this seven again, and then I'm gonna go through. Okay. Seven. It's Romans 11 and seven. Mm -hmm. When then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest were blinded. According as it is written, Yahweh hath given them the spirit of slumber, uh -huh. eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. Uh huh. Even though that they claim to be teachers. All right, see, but that's when the scriptures talk about, hey, if the blind lead the blind, they both fall into a ditch. So you have a bunch of blind that's claiming to be teachers, that's claiming to be prophets, that's claiming to be pastors. All right, but they're the blind because there's only one set of prophets that's truth, that's true, that was sent from the Most High God. Now, we have to discern who that is. And the only way that we can discern who that is is if the Most High give us that discernment. Yeah. All right, but let's keep going. Hey, hey, can, I, can I say something about yeah. that real quick? Yeah. Because it said the Lord put the spirit on them of slumber. Okay? So one thing you got to realize is the people who can't get it, the Lord put the spirit on them for not to get it. That's it. That's all it is. Yep. Uh, this is Romans 11 and 9. And David saith, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling box and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow their back down, like it, and bow down their back all the way. Yep, and so here it is. He said that a hey, some, their table is made a snare. So when they read this Bible, all right, and go through it, it's a trap. It's a stumbling block. They don't get it. They don't understand it. So since they don't understand it and they don't get it, they lean to their own understanding. And when they lean to their own understanding, they're like, oh, yeah, I know, you know, I got it now. They might but then, even make some money. Right, yep, yep. And they go about to establish their own righteousness, but they have not submitted themselves into the righteousness of the Most High God. All right? And so, I got to go. hey, well, I'm going to give you some info yeah. before you go. Y'all yeah. uh, keep speaking. Uh, you got a... Uh, uh, you got, uh, you got more to that? Uh, well, uh, that's what it is, man. Uh, somebody get the scripture about the eye salve. Okay. You know, because uh, like the elder was going into, man, you know, the men of the Lord have been giving that eye salve, man, to uh, to basically, oh, uh, did say you can turn between the, uh, between the righteous and the wicked? Did somebody get that? The, uh, did say you return and discern? Uh, all right, yeah, bring that, yeah, we can just read that. Okay. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 18. 
I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. Right, so hey, the Lord has, uh, has, has uh, woken up the men that were meant to be woke, woke up. The scripture says, uh, uh, I will put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, man, you know? This de and that's the real definition of education. You know, the word education comes from the word adjukati, which means uh, to draw from within. So really what what you have right now is something that you had in your past life, man. You know? And right. you're just getting it back again, man. The Lord's just waking you back up, man. I like this movie that just came out with uh, Mark Wahlberg. I still have yet to see it. Uh, uh, I forgot what it's called. Infinite or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, Infinite or something like that. You know? Basically, they were just uh, reincarnated. Okay? Right. You got this one. Right? Malachi 3 and 16 and it reads Then they then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another and the Lord hearkened and heard it and a book of remembrance was written before him for them who right. feared the Lord right and the scriptures talk about that book that was the books were open before the firmament man alright and like the elder was going through with these passes man you come to them with certain scriptures they're going to tell you oh that book is sealed that book is sealed. What the scripture says, the books were open before the firmament, man. All right? When the veil of the temple or rent, man, that opened everything up right then and there, man. Oh, when Yahweh Shah said, the, uh, I will send you the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will teach you all things, man. All things concerning these scriptures that we need to know for salvation, that we need to teach, man. All right? So for somebody to say, hey, the books is closed, yeah, they closed to your ass. They ain't closed to the men uh, of the Lord, though. Go ahead. <laughs> And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that they thought upon his name and they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. That's it. And so the books are open, man, and we're given the understanding, man. All right. Oh, what it said, cause them to, um, it can cause them to, uh, to understand. Yes, sir. Uh, That's great. That's great. Matter of fact, get that. Uh, how, 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 how can that man teach me yeah. a moment? Somebody get that. I got you. And, uh, uh, how can they hear without a preacher? Romans 13, I believe. You know? So, hey, man, you got to have a. Uh, because the scripture says, Your eyes shall see your teachers, and you shall hear a voice that says, uh, This is the way, walking in it, man. You know? Whenever you're ready. I got it. This Romans chapter 10. And I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Right. How shall they hear without a preacher, man? So you got to have a, 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 a teacher, man. All right. And what Paul said, Be ye followers of me. Even as I am followers of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. Yeah. Verse 15, and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Right, how can they preach unless they be sent, man? All right, so showing you that, hey, the Lord, ha hey, the Lord has men to, to give you the breakdown, man. It tells you in the, uh, you get that uh, Song of Solomon, uh, The Watchman Found Me? Oh, there's more to that. Okay, go ahead. In verse uh, 16, it says, But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for as I say, Lord, who have believed our report, verse 17, so then faith cometh by hearing, and by hearing by the word of the Most High. That's right, man. So you gotta be giving ears to hear, man. Because hey, this word is like a frequency, man. It's like a radio station, man. You know, not everybody can tune in, man. Not everybody has some ears. At a frequency, you got frequencies that are so low, only a dog can hear it, man. <laughs> you know? So we're like those dogs, man. You know? And you guys just can't hear it, man. You know? Screw just talk about how the ears are dull of hearing. You know? Why are you looking for that? Any of y'all got the... Uh, uh, 
It said 30, 20, and it reads, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, he shall not, you sh he shall not, thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Right, your eyes shall see your teachers be gone. And thy ears shall hear a word behind your ears. you. Your ears. Your ears. Okay. Saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Right, and those ears are just basically talking about if the Lord, uh, if you can receive this, man, in your spirit. So it's talking about spiritual ears. Of course you can hear it, but you ain't hear it. You know what I'm saying? You can hear a Chinese motherfucker talk, you ain't gonna know what the hell he said. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You might start mocking. You know, go ahead. The Song of Solomon chapter three and verse two. I will now, it's like he says, I will rise now and go about the city and the streets and in the broadways, I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I saw him, but I found him not. Verse three. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, Saw ye him whom my soul loved. It was but a little while that I passed from them, but I found him whom my soul loved. I hailed him and would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. Right, and, that, and that's talking about the watchmen that, that uh, which are the prophets, man. Being out on the highways and byways on the streets, man. A lot of men found, uh, there's a lot of men that found this truth by walking down the street. A lot of men found this truth by surfing the internet, the internet, the information highway. Because that's the highways and byways as well, the internet, man. Go ahead. It's Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth words, her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Right, so, hey man, we're gonna be in this, uh, the truth is gonna be found. Did you have motherfuckers say, uh, man, you ain't gonna learn the truth from a nigga on the street? Well, shit. Wasn't the prophets on the streets in, in the right. past? Right. Weren't they out in the highways and byways? To say, Yahweh I didn't even have a place to lay his head, man. You know? Hey, where was John the Baptist found? He was found in the wilderness, man. What was he saying? Make straight the way of the Lord, man. Okay? And he wasn't dealing with everybody either, man. He told them wicked scribes and Pharisees, man, get the hell on, man. Who warned you from the wrath? Yeah, who, run, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come, man? Amen. Bring forth meat that's... Bring forth fruit meat for the And the same niggas that were saying that back then, they came back now telling people that John the Baptist wasn't ever in the truth, man. Exactly. Yeah. So hey man, this this is uh this is all about who the Lord uh uh you have not chosen me, but uh you know what I'm talking about I've chosen you. Whoever can get that. You know? Because the Lord decides who's gonna get this away. We didn't have no choice to do this, man. Alright? I didn't wake up one day and said I, I wanted to be an Israelite and preacher, man. You know? Hey, you watch the movie Braveheart, uh, William Wallace said, he said, God makes men what they are. Okay? Braveheart, he, he basically told him, like, look, I didn't choose to do this, man. I didn't choose to get my wife murdered by a, a, a goddamn uh, soldier and then become William Wallace and run around, chop people's heads off. I didn't want to do this shit. I was meant to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, William Wallace is a Jake, man, but you niggas don't know. Oh, yeah. He was a straight Israelite, man. Uh, anybody got that screen? Uh, John 15 and uh, 16. Start at 16. But, uh, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he will give it you. Right, man. The Lord chooses uh, who, who is the, who was men. Matter of fact, they were chosen from the foundation of the earth. All right? Before the world was even created. You know? The the, the Lord had his uh his government already put together, man. Alright? So right now we're just seeing the uh the Lord just raise up his men that he used 
in the past, man. That's right. You know? On both sides, man. Yeah, it tells you that uh, in uh, Luke, the, the first chapter, it was like near the 70th verse. It says, uh, uh, which have been since the world began. What are you talking about? Yeah, I got you. It's Luke chapter 1 and verse... Uh, that sound like uh, 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 Denzel. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Go ahead. It's Luke chapter 1 and 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Right. So this is the same guys that he chose for this movie, man, for this sequel. All right. Hey, he went and got Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. You know what I'm saying? Resurrect their ass. And look, man, we're going to make another lethal weapon, man. Diplomatic immunity. Yeah, right. Yeah, hey, lethal weapon came out again. That's crazy. So it's nothing new, man. The Lord didn't hire no new guys to do this, man. These are the same spirits coming back, man. Hey, the Lord made us. This book is a really lethal weapon. Oh, the Lord made us. Uh, somebody get that in his quiver. Have you heard me? In his quiver, have you heard me? Get that scripture. Hey, since, since we're going to talk about lethal weapons, man. Because the Lord's going, the scripture said, I shall make you a sharp threshing instrument having teeth, man. All right, because the scripture says uh, you're going to be fishers, but then you're going to be turned to hunters, man. All right. That's uh, Isaiah 16 and 16, I think. How we going to go from being fishers, fishers to be hunters. Right now with fishers, yeah, Jeremiah 16 and 16. Right now with fishers, and, uh, with fishers, with fishers of men. All right. The Lord's getting ready to turn us to hunters, man. You know, it reminds me of that scene in um, The Watchmen. That dude, Rorschach, he went to jail. And uh, I guess dude was trying to punk his ass at the, at the lunch table or some shit. He beat the fuck out of his ass with a tray. He said, he said, how many times do I got to tell you? He said, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> right? Hey, you think we're locked in here with you? You locked in here with us. The minute the Lord about to be turned to God, you ain't got a tank round or a missile that can do anything against that. All right, so we're the threat, not you. We're the problem, not you. All right, go ahead. No, nah, what is it? It's Isaiah forty nine one. It says, "Listen, owls unto me, and and hearken ye people from afar. The Lord hath called me from the womb." From the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. Right, that goes into the Isaiah, the first chapter. It says, uh, when I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. All right. Uh, I, I ordained thee a prophet to the nations. Before you were born, the Lord knew you, man. He knew you and made you to be a prophet, man. Go ahead. It says, and he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and made me a polished shaft. And his quiver hath he hid me. Yeah, since we're talking about lethal weapons, the, the men of the Lord were uh, our lethal weapons, man. We're hidden, man. We're hidden things, man. You know? You know, we're hidden things, man. The Lord concealed the weapon. He snuck into the club for that scene on belly and shit. That <laughs> fucking went to the bathroom, yeah, started assembling the whole fucking kill your ass kid. That's right. You know what I mean? That's what the Lord did, man. He got on an airplane. <laughs> like yeah, a terrorist. Where's the, where is the bathroom? I didn't be back. He went in there and assembled a whole fucking bomb on your ass, man. All right? And that's the Lord, man, uh, 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 concealing his men, man. You know, the scriptures call us the hidden ones. All right? So we're a concealed weapon. We're that polished shaft, man. We're that hidden sword, man. And now the Lord's pulling it out on your ass. Like, damn. Those are the guys that, that we were reading about. Because the elites know. You guys are just now figuring it out slowly. But you ain't gonna know until it until what it says, um If you're reading this, it's too late. <laughs> then shall it be known? Then shall it be known who is my chosen. Alright? Yeah, and, and that's the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Oh, the people shall be willing in the day of that power, man. You ain't gonna know until you get hit in the head already. 
Alright. You got something? Go ahead. It's Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors, which we, which the men of the Lord are doing now. You know? Verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And it's happening. Everything that the men of the Lord have been prophesying about through the spirit of the Lord is happening. The chip, you know, the MTOB is here. You know, the devil coming down with the great wrath. Come take this, this, this serum. You're not going to be able to live, basically. You're not going to be able to It's going to be uncomfortable for you. Right? right. The chariots are here. Verse 3. And they repented and groaned for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he. These were the men. You no, know, the, the rough guys out there with their dresses on. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. So these was the men that we used to talking shit about, that we ridiculed, told them they was wasting their lives. These men actually had the truth. These were the actual prophets of God. Verse, uh, verse 4. We fools account of his life madness. Oh, you're wasting your life. You need to make some life changes. What are you doing? Right? Get married. Go start a family. Go get a better job. Right? Let's some random bitch come in your house and ruin your shit and take everything. Give your power over to a woman. Leave, that you, ain't with worth a, a leave you with an STD and nothing. Fight, fight. <laughs> we fools account of his life madness and his end to be without honor. Oh, dude. He ain't finna do nothing. He's just gonna be a bum. Right. It says, verse uh, 5. How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is amongst the saints? So he is a he is a child of God. He is one of those men. How is he flying? How does he have these powers? How is he hitting people? Oh, the Lord is dealing with him. Hey, that one Superman or uh, the, uh, the old Superman movie uh, like it came out of the 80s. Superman flies, he catches Lois Lane. Uh, his, Superman's like, I got you. She was like, what? but who's got you? <laughs> Well, yeah, how about Shemi outside got us? No. Okay. It say verse 6, Therefore have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us, and the son of righteousness rose not upon us. You spent your last years in Babylon trying to better yourself, man. Hey, the prophet's been out here for decades, you know? And shit just been getting more and more intense, and you chose to say, oh, nah, I need yeah. to worry about what I need to worry about. I don't want to hear that. Verse 7, we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. Say we wearied ourselves in a way of, of wickedness and destruction. You tired yourself out and doing shit that's not going to profit you. Vanity. You went to college the last couple years of Babylon. You were. Right. Right. And they told you. And they told you that uh, promoters uh, were, were coming to the gym. You were playing basketball all hard and shit for like fucking three hours. You turn around with nobody in the stands. Then the gym got closed down. Right, yeah. <laughs> then the NBA got canceled. Then the door got locked on your ass. You trying to find your way out of shit. You trying to climb to, up to one of them tall ass windows and shit. <laughs> Go ahead, man. It says, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. And as the brother quoted in that song, it says, uh, uh, and again, thy power, thy people be willing. Yeah. Now you want to repent. Now when the Lord is back up. Now when you start seeing the judgments come down, you see that the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomite, the, the devil of the Bible is against you when he's trying to get. Now you want to come back to the Lord. Right. Now you don't want to trust the government no more. I've always loved you, you dire. <laughs> Even though I slept with the football team, I was wrong. I was misguided. I now see the error of my way. You know what? You know what? Actually, I forgot to tell you. They actually raped me. I never liked it in the first place. You know what I mean? I was Although raped. I stayed. You, you know? Time, different days. You know, my mind was not correct. Fuck out of here, man. It's going to be a lot of excuses, man. Uh -huh. We're going to hear a lot of excuses in that day, man. Yeah, right. Verse 8. What have pride profited us? Or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us? Because as we've been quoting, man, riches profit not in the day of evil, man. Hey, the Lord, hey, and Zephaniah says, they should cast their silver and their gold to the streets. It's not going to help you. Nothing is going to help you. That's why the scripture said the fear of the Lord is, uh, is, is rough and fair, but it's going to be that treasure. That's what's going to get you through it. Right? And because that's what they're doing, vaunting. Matter of fact, before you go on, let's, let's get that definition real quick. I got it right here. Go ahead. Uh, this is the definition for the word vaunt. Boast about or praise, especially excessively. Woo-wee! Hey, men shall be lovers of themselves. Uh, uh, 
uh, uh, rather than lovers of the most high. That was it? Yeah, uh, I got vaunting as well. Yeah. This is vaunting and this just means to be of a boastful nature. Right. So the Go ahead. And you're saying that second, uh, that, uh, that Timothy, or what? It says uh, boasters too. Proud, yeah. boasters. Boasters, yeah. Uh, Heady, high minded. Mm -hmm. High minded, man. Motherfuckers proud, man. Got my Ooh. motherfucking tight. Tell me shit. Man, you should have seen the fucking nigga woman in the fucking bins with a all black as hell with a blonde wig. This shit looks, it looks gross, actually. It looks gross. <laughs> and, and, and the wig ain't even really blonde. It's fucking yellow. There's a difference between blonde and yellow. Bright ass, you black as hell with yellow ass hair. Self hatred. <laughs> There's not even an animal that looks like that, man. Like, go ahead, man. This shit just look crazy as hell, man. Proud as fuck, can't tell me nothing. Go ahead. This is Philippians Trash. 1 and 28. It says, And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of the Most High. So, hey, man, this word, us speaking this boldly, coming out, that's an evident token of your perdition, man. And they at least know that. They at least know that when they when they when they saw the apostles wake up, okay, the men the men before them wake up out there preaching the word. They knew that was the beginning of the end. Right. All right. You guys are gonna get it late. Cause they not playing, man. They coming down with great wrath, man. Because they know that their time is almost up, man. All right. The Lord is letting them know He entered into the house of the thief, man. The chariots are showing up. You got angels just walking down this big ass angel just walking down the mountain like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Motherfucker, just keep going. Like, goddamn, bro, they don't even care no more. Right. Pretty soon you're just gonna go outside, you're just gonna see just people, just angels just in the sky floating and shit, just looking at you. You know? <laughs> it's just going, hey, we've already been seeing that, man. That's right. Signs and wonders in the heavens, man. We're at the end of this, man. That's right. And it's just gonna increase, man, you know? But, uh, hey. <laughs> Alright. Anybody got anything else? Yeah, he was one too. For to us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith. And them that heard it. Got it. Well, the word, the word of the word of Yahweh Shimashah was not preached to it was it was preached to all. But just like that parable talks about, that net was tossed tossed in the uh, in the ocean, and it brought in many things, you know. And then you threw good good and bad. But the good things are, I mean, the good things that were kept by Yahweh Shimashai, and He opened up their understanding, their learning, their hearing, you know, to this truth. You know, bad things were tossed back, and that's the that's the that's the ones that this uh, uh, gospel was not preached to them, you know. Like the scripture says, uh, uh, gospel be hidden is is hidden to those that. Uh, Perfect. I lost. Right. But the Lord don't want. Don't want. Which makes this. God don't love everybody, man. Yeah. A lot of you niggas been created to get smoked, man. Born in vain. They've been created to not have no mercy given to them, man. Yeah. No compassion, man. Because they receive not the love of the truth, as it says in that Thessalonians. That's what makes this word so precious, man. If something's in abundance and anybody can get it, it's not precious, man. Right. It's not precious, man. You know, but this is going to. Hey, listen, man. You occupy that and do it to the end in this truth, man. The reward is coming, man. You, that means that you're not going to, uh, the scripture says that we be chastened of the Lord. Uh, it is that we should not be condemned with the world, man. Get this ass whooping now. You don't have to get fucked up with the rest of these people, man. Right. Do what you were supposed to do now so you don't got to get fucked up with the rest of these people because they ass whooping is coming, man. Right. All right. So, anybody got anything else? I, I this. Yeah, it's uh, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse uh, 26. It says, Esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Hey, uh, Moses, man, hey, he he said, you know what, to hell with, with all this this high place time, man. He said, to hell with all that. I don't want to be called, I don't want to be linked in with Egypt. I'd rather go suffer that affliction with my people. You know what right. it says? Because he had. Uh, it says, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Because he was looking afar off. He wanted the kingdom of heaven. He knew that. Right? He discerned the reward for a blameless soul. Yep. 
Verse 27, by faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing, who, as seeing him who is invisible. So he forsook Egypt. Hey, the scriptures say we should uh, no more lean upon him that smote us, but come back to the Lord. Yeah. And that's what right. we're doing in these last days. It says, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. No. Hey, with that, we're going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, the ones to the elders and the apostles of the great millstones. I taste to all the I can push word with two, seven with charity. Shalom, rock a thumb, and a butt, ba-boom!